That's test one too.
put it right in here. I opened up the space here. Yeah.
שלוש מתנות טובות נתן הקדוש ברוך הוא לישראל וכולם לא ניתנו אלא על ידי איסורים. Three great things השם gave to עם ישראל, but it's not easy. It comes with pain, איסורים, with suffering. ואלו הן תורה, ארץ ישראל ועולם הבא. Learning תורה, going to ארץ ישראל and having עולם הבא, all. And each, it comes with certain pain and suffering. And it says the Pasuk, Torah. How we know the Torah is like this? Diktiv, Ashrei HaGever, Ashrei Teyasedenu Ya, Mitoratecha Telamedenu. Ashrei HaGever, Unfortunately, the man that is being suffering for the Torah. Eretz Yisrael, Diktiv, Ki Kaasher Yayaser Yish Et Beno Adonai Elohecha Meyasereka, We have in the Pasuk in a connection, suffering and Eretz Yisrael. Olam Abba, Diktiv, Kiner Mitzvah, Vetorah Or, Vederech Haim, Tochechot Musar. Olam Abba, in order to get Olam Abba also, a person needs to go through a certain suffering. I know Morris for the last five years. How many suffering he went through? And now we know why. Because now he's ready for Olam Abba immediately. Any suffering that he had in all these past five years is all just to prepare him to go straight to Olam Abba. This is according to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. No wonder. It says in the Tehillim, Ashrei Aish, is fortunate the man, Asher lo alach ba'atzat reshaim, u'udir chataim lo'amad, literally. To be fortunate, 
as David Amelech described, the person who needs to be fortunate is a little bit difficult. It's very difficult. Ashrei temim edarech haolechim betorat Adonai. Fortunate those they are temimim. It's also very difficult to be such a fortunate person. But today, Wednesday, in the song of Wednesday, that we say, El nekamot Adonai, El nekamot Ophia, we say the following, Ashrei agever, asher te yaserenu ya, umitorat echat el amedenu, fortunate is the man that Hashem has made him to go through suffering. He is the one, he is the fortunate person, he is Ashrei agever, he is not, he says, Aish, agever, he is a gibor. And now I tell you something else, he is not only Gibor, he is holy. He is holy more than anyone here and more than any rabbi you ever believe. He is holy than him. You know why? I tell you. All of us, we have emuna in Hashem. All of us, we have faith in Hashem. But let me ask you a question. What kind of emuna we have? We have a beautiful emuna. Why? We have beautiful life, Baruch Hashem. We have beautiful health, we have beautiful houses, we have Parnasatova, our life is more or less normal and it's very easy to have a Munav, it's such a life. But I want to tell you something, I was talking to, Mo to Morris for every week for the last five years. This is a very difference to have a Munav through suffering and through pain. How much suffering he had, how much pain he had. And with all that, what emunah he had? It's very difficult to have emunah when you have suffering. And he had it. What a conversation that I had with him about emunah, about Hashem. He never lost his faith with Hashem. So who can go through emunah, through suffering? It's very difficult. Very, very difficult. Very few, very few in the world. They have their emunah, but through suffering. He is one of them, and that's what makes him to be holy. A very holy man. A very holy man that he went through so much in his life the last five, five years. Every day there was another story. Every week, every two weeks, every month. And he still have his emunah. What a tzedakot that he made. How many tzedakot? With everything that happened, another tzedakah here, another tzedakah there. Rabbi, let's learn Torah. I want to learn Torah. Call me. Let's discuss. Besides that he was holy, he was also a genius man. You would never believe what a genius he was. How many books he read. What kind of subject he was discussing with me about different areas in life and mathematics. He is the one, the first time we have the word Gaon in, in, the, in, the, in the entire Tanakh. It's in Tehillim. At Geon Yaakov, Asher Ha'evsela, Geon Yaakov. What is Geon Yaakov? Geon Yaakov, he was a proud person. Yaakov was a proud person, a proud Eretz Israel. All suffering that he has in his life, he still was proud. And this is exactly Morris. He was Gaon, but Gaon like Yaakov Avinu. A holy and Gaon. Ve'yeh nishmatot zerura b'tzrum ha'chaim. We need all to take an example for this person and always remember this. The emunah that he had all his life, we need to have the same and stronger emunah. So Besat Hashem, we just think about his suffering when we don't need to go ourselves through suffering. We just think about him and this is enough. Besat Hashem, enough for suffering for all Am Israel, enough for suffering for all the families. And Besat Hashem, we see Besat Hashem Bekarov, Techiyat Ametim Bekarov, Bimera Beyamenu. You want to say something? This is my dad's rabbi. He's been with us for so many years. He found the reason for our mitzvah. Very happy to have my, my son carry on Maurice, my dad's name, and hopefully his, his merits and his uh, scoot and his uh, education and Torah. I mean, he's taught us so much. We're so grateful for everything that he taught me he's not just my father he's really my 
number one mentor. I have a few, and he's my number one. Uh, can't thank him enough for everything that he's provided us. He's, you know, family man first. He taught us, you know, to stay together, to love each other, always to be together, and, and, and it showed till the last breath. I mean, we're all together, and this is what he wanted. He wanted to go in peace at home, and, and God granted him that wish. We're together, loyal wife, my mother, I mean, for 60 plus years, probably never find another wife or mother like that in the world. They don't make them this way anymore. And he had this to have her for all these years and to keep us together. Just, you know, my brother and two sisters, you know, very close family. showing their respect to our father. I'm already hearing a lot of stories of everybody that he's helped throughout the years and the advice that he's been giving people in business and right he's a mathematical genius and I, I think he speaks like six, seven languages. I can't keep up, I can't even do math anymore. I have to use my iPhone. <laughs> you know, so a lot to learn from him and a lot to, to really remember and I'm gonna miss him dearly. Thank you guys for coming. Okay. Now. Hey, Luis. Me and my brother Maurice grew in a one-room house with ten brothers and sisters. All his life, care for my mother and my father. From the day he, that I remember, my opened my eyes, my brother Maurice, may rest in peace. <laughs> always, always by the side of my father and my mother and all my sisters. He was, he was my my ma, my my mentor, my example, everything in life. And I left Israel much before. But we never, never, never separate telephone, call, letters, advice. And we come here, when we came here. There is no day or a week or, or an hour that he doesn't call me and I don't call him. And anything that I need is there. Anything he needs is there. I can't describe the relation I have with my brother Maurice. I don't know how could I carry on without him. I ask you, everybody, if I ever, ever, ever harm you or I made a mistake with you, please, please forgive me. Please. You have to say something. You have to say today. I'm Artic, Lord. The vaccine. I'm Artic. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say something real quick. I grew up with his kids, his, his kids are almost my age. So I did I had a father, but Hashem, I remember my father very much. But Morris I was, was the father of the whole family. You guys have to understand that they just another brother. He's a father. He was a, the father to the clan. Baruch <laughs> Hashem, Gai and Arabi. I don't want to say Gai and Arabi. Baruch Hashem, a lot of big, big, big families. Anything that anybody needs, the, fr the first call was to Morris. Nobody knows. Here, I think he's all him too. I mean, but Morris was a, was a father figure, not just another person. He was, was a father figure. He's a brother figure. He, he, one thing he tell me one thing. His first thing to him was family. Nothing else. Family first. Baruch Hashem, he had friends, he had this, but he always said, you are my family. The black stops here. No, that's it. Nobody else. So Baruch Hashem, he had this food. I have a beautiful family. Beautiful kids, beautiful grandchildren. And they all carry his, 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 his way. His, tradition and I'm sure Maurice you never left us we're never going to leave you you always with us we 
every day we're gonna remember you like you are here. I, for me, for me, I don't know. For me, Morris is alive. Sister, sister from Israel are watching. Huh? The sisters are watching. Very very. The Morris is with us. Tamid 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 is הוא לא בגוף, הוא יכול לעשות פי אלף יותר ממה שהוא בגוף. ככה מזמן הוא מתחיל לגוף. כשבן אדם נפטר בן העולם, אז יש לו את הכוחות, אין לו מניעות ועיכובים. הוא יכול להיות פה, יכול להיות שם, יכול לעזור בכל דרך שאי אפשר. הקדוש ברוך הוא נכון לכולנו. הוא היה חסיד גדול של הרבי. כל דבר שהוא רצה לשאול, הוא אומר, איך שואלים את הרבי? כותבים מכתב לרבי, בוא תכתוב לי, רבי תכתוב לי, בוא תכתוב לי. אני קורא, הוא קורא, הוא היה אוהב מאוד, מאוד 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 חסידות, מאוד מאוד חסידות, היה חסיד אמיתי של הרבי, אומנם, אבל אין מה לדבר, אה, הוא ציפה למשיח, ציפה לישראל, ציפה לגדול, אנחנו מאמינים כולם, כמו שהרבי הבטיח, שזה הדור האחרון של הגלות, הדור הראשון לגאולה, ועכשיו המוות זה לא כמו פעם מים, המוות היום זה רק מעבר זמני, זמני, עד שיבוא המשיח בזמן השם. אתה רוצה להגיד משהו? כן. חכה, חכה, הוא רוצה להגיד משהו. רמי, 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 Well, I could go into the details of who Saba was, where he came from. Every year we said in the Agadah Shel Pesach, Yitzhanu Mi Mitzrayim, Saba really came from Mitzrayim, but everyone knows the story. I could talk about how much we love Saba, how much he meant to all of us, how he raised all of us, his kids, his grandkids, his great-grandchildren, how he helped the entire family all the time. But I would be remiss if I didn't say what I thought Saba would want me to say right now. <laughs> Saba loved all the attention, so it's good there's so many people here. But I think... You would say I had a great Levaya. That's why I have his head on, but I think uh, <clears throat> there's a message from this opportunity that Saba would want us to, to learn. My, uh, my Saba was a serial entrepreneur, for anyone who knows. He was a self-made, rags-to-riches story, not just once, but many times. He built businesses in Israel, in Europe, in New York, multiple businesses in L.A. He amassed assets of all kinds, from art to real estate. He did this from the time he was 15 years old, as a recently exiled Egyptian living in Israel. And while none of these are... <clears throat> unique to Saba, I think the important part to highlight is his intent behind all of this. As his brother said, as the oldest of ten, with a father who passed at a young age, my Saba had the innate sense of responsibility for his family. I love you the most, I just want to tell you. And Luckily, Hashem blessed him with lots of success, which he used to help anyone who needed it. I remember being a kid and being amazed by how much Saba would buy Aliyot for in Magen David <laughs> on Yom Kippur and thinking that I want to be like that someday. As you can see from his hat, which I'm wearing, Saba was always the life of the party. That being said, Saba understood that without family, there was no party. Saba made clear from the early years until his last days that family comes first, no matter what. He spent his last five years, as the rabbi said, suffering through immense pain with no proper quality of life. He went from one treatment to another, one doctor to another, spending the last few years mostly at home or getting dialysis. He simply couldn't catch a break. And every time he came home, he said, Oh, once I get back to this, I'll get over it, and then I'll go back to my regular life. He never gave up. 
during that time, his focus became strictly on making sure that he wouldn't leave us without us being taken care of. That meant all of us and all of our personal arrangements. Until the last moment. <laughs> Though his body was deteriorating, his mind was sharp as always, and from his downstairs office turned hospital bed, he quarterbacked the entire family enterprise. <laughs> he was dig diligent in uh, his follow-ups, contacting every one of us daily to make sure that our personal affairs were in order. He made sure... Well, you got the most table, amount of calls. That we have, that, that we have tables for the Shiva. Yeah. He made sure that everyone from Ilan to Logan, Lila to Isabel were taken care of. He constantly asked about his great-grandchildren and what he could do for them if they needed anything. I always felt that the connection that Saba had with his older grandchildren was probably strongest because we grew up with him as he was younger. Yet Saba constantly spent time talking to me about each individual grandchild, shocking me at how interested he was in all of our individual lives. He took it upon himself to make sure every single one of us felt like we were the only ones who mattered and that our health and material affairs would be in order even long after he had passed. Saba and I had many conversations about culture, fashion, investments. We shared a love for watches and he made it a point to buy this watch that I'm wearing today. Anytime I came to visit, he would tell me to take it out of the safe and wear it. When I told him I loved it, he would say, it's nice, but at the end of all this, all these possessions are meaningless. Everything I have is meaningless to me if my family doesn't benefit from it once I'm gone. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what Saba would want us to learn from his legacy. We can all go home after this funeral and fight over which of us gets the art, <laughs> which of us gets the couch, which gets the Judaica. Yeah. We would be severely Thanks. missing out on what he worked 80 years to accomplish. He would throw it all away if it caused strife between us. So let's make Saba proud and not make his life's work meaningless. As someone who makes headstones for a living on a daily basis, I see a lot of headstones which say beloved husband, father, and grandfather. Doesn't take much to do that. What I don't see written often is that he was a man who inspired his offspring to be, offspring to be better family members to each other, to prioritize each other before friends and outsiders, and to give of themselves and their possessions for family before themselves. Zaba was unique. He achieved more than most. Let's take this opportunity to learn from what he would have wanted us to learn. Let's make each other feel special the way Saba made us feel special. Let's forget our differences and forever remember our common bond, that we are family, Saba's family. So Saba, we love you. We'll do everything we can for your neshama. We'll make you proud as a family and as individuals. And we thank you for everything you gave us. Can I say something? Yeah, Lila, my dad, my dad was the best father a girl could ever, ever ask for in every way. My dad loved me unconditionally. My dad supported me no matter all the crap that I did when I was a kid. My dad loved me with all of his heart. Like Neef said, I always thought I was his favorite. But then I hear everybody else talking about the relationship that they had with him and he had a way of making every single one of us feel like we were the most important person in his life. My dad was sick for a very, very long time. He suffered for so long. He held on and he was there for my son's bar mitzvah. And he gave a beautiful speech. And everything that I have in my life, including my husband and my children and my siblings and every single thing I possess is because of my father. My father taught me that nothing else matters. Nothing else matters more than family. And we promised him 
before he died that we would stick together no matter what. My father waited for me to get off a flight to another country to say goodbye. And I thank him. I thank him for waiting for me. I love you so much, puppy. I'll always love you forever. I just want to say, uh, I've, I've, I've cried more for the loss of my father-in-law than my own father. I was welcomed into his, into his family with open arms. Uh, Maurice always supported me in what I wanted to do. And I'm just so grateful for the 15 years that I got to be with Maurice. I came to this town and I never felt like I belonged. And then I met the Dueck family and now I feel like I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> I actually, I kind of feel Israeli. I'm not even Israeli. And uh, you know, I, I've had so many moments with Maurice and he suffered for such a long time that his family was so important to him that he just kept going and kept going. And um, that's all. I, I just want to thank Maurice and thank Eti and, and thank my wife, Lila. Just, I couldn't have asked to come into such a, a better family. So thank you. Just come on, I'll give you Okay. Shlomi. I'm 
Okay, let's put the camera. Right there, the white thing. No, no, no. You can, it's very heavy. Okay, so we need everyone to go back. They need to all go back. We'll put more after. We'll put more after. going to bring it this way. Yeah, we're going to put more after. Yes. Mama, go. Wait, wait, wait. That's it, that's it. Enough. Stop. 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 Yeah, it's too much, it's too much weight for it. I just didn't want him to... Hello, hello. Come see me. 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 Guys, it's not safe to be stepping on that far right there. The wood is for a reason. Yeah, guys, move back. Step back. Diamond, you have one. Let's see already. It's enough to wait for it. Okay. Just let his wife take one more thing. Okay. Let's get the one back. Let's get the one back. Zell, Simon. Simon, that's it. That's it. Okay. Simon, it's too heavy. Yes. Move back a little bit, guys. You're cool with me putting my hand on your shoulder?
נשים לא שמים, רק גברים, כרגע, אחר כך הוא ייתן לנשים, אבל רק גברים. מה זה המגבת הזאת? מה זה מה? הייתה נזילה, שמתי את הייתה נזילה שם של מים. צדיק אתה אדוני וישר משפטיך, צדיק אדוני בכל דרכה וחסיד בכל מעשיו, צדיקתך צדיק לעולם, תודה אמת, תשפטי אדוני אמת, צדיקו יחדיו, באשר דבר מלך שלטון ומי אומר לו מה תעשה, והוא באחד ומי יש עמנו, ולבשו אביתיו ויעש, קטון וגדול שם ובאמת חופשי מאדוניו, אין בה עבדיו לא יאמינו, בהלכיו ישים לעולם, כי נושרים מה הוא, ובדם כל יד, תומים באו לו, כי לא יודע את המשפט, אין אמונה ואין אבן, צדיק וישר, דיין האמת, שופט צדק ואמת, ברוך דיין האמת בכל משפטו צדק מאמת, בילה המוות לנצח, ומחה אדוני אלוהים דמעה מעל כל פנים, וחרפת אמו יסרים מעל כל הארץ, כי אדוני דיבר, יחיו מתך אני ותיק, הקיצור של שוכני עפר, כי טען מורות עליה, והארץ אבוי תבואו ברוך הוא מכפר אבות, ולא ישד, ויבא להשיב אבו ויעיר חמתו, אדוני הושע, המלך יענן ויום קוראנו, ושמאל לדוד, אדוני מי הגור והעולך, מי ישכון בעל קודשך, הולך זה בעיניו נמאס, ותראה אדוני יכבד, ישבע לערה ולא ימיר, כספו לא נתן בנשר, ראשו חתן נקי לא לקח, עושה אל אלוהים מות לעולם, מכתב לדוד, שומרני אין, כי חסיתי בך, אמרת אדוני, אדוני, אתה טובתי בל עליך, ותושים אשר בארץ אמה ואדירי כל חפצי בם, ירבו עצב אותם אחר, מהרו בל אסיך נזכה מדם, ובלסר שוב אותם על שפתי, אדוני מנת חלקי וחושי את עצמך גורני, חבלים נפלו לי פני אימים, אף נחלת שפרה עליי, אברך את אדוני אשר יצא ולא תסרו נחיליותיי, שיביתי אדוני לנגדי תמיד, כי מבינים בלמות, לכן שמח ליבי ויגל 
ובודים, אף בשרי ישכון לבטח, כי לא תעזור נפשי לשאול, לא תיתן חסידך לראות שאחת, לא תהיין יום אחרי מסור הסמכות את פניך נעימות ממנך נצח, טוב שם משמן טוב, יום המוות ויום הוולדו, סוף דבר הכל נשמע, את האלוהים ירע ואת מצוותיו שמו, כי זה כל האדם, יעלזו חסידים אחרות, ירענו לא ישכב אותם, אין מלא רחמים, הוא יתמלא ברחמים על נפש, הוא אמר שמע של הנפטר, משה מוריס משה בן מרגרית, בן שמעון, רוח אדוני תנחנו בגן עדן, להתפטר מנעל בעדיהם כי הוא תלם הרי שמע המלך מלכם לכם ירחם עליו ויחוס ויחמול עליו ומלך מלכם לכם יסתירהו בצל כן עפה ובסדר רבו לו לחסות בנו המונו יבקר בחלו קץ הימין יעמידו מנחל עד העם וישכו יצרו וצור החיים מנשמתו וישים כבוד מנוחתו אדוני יהיו נחלתו וילווה אליו השלום על משכבו יהיה שלום כי דכתיב יבוא שלו ונוח משכב אותם הולך לראו וכל בני ישראל שלו ויבור אוקיי, לכל האבלים בבקשה להגיד קדיש לא, לא, זה כזה הוא איתך קדיש מיוחד, תגידו איתי ביחד בקול יתגדל ויתקדש שמהרבה ואלמד יברך יוצא וימליך מחותה ויצמח סוכני ויקרב משיחי וחי יכון ויום יכון וחיי דכון בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב ואמרו אמן יהא שמרבה מברך לעליו ולעל מעל מיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומה ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלם ויתעלם שמדקושה בניחו לעילה מנכון בנחתה שילתה תשפכתה ונחמתה דם אינם בעלמא ואמרו אמין תתקלה חרבה וכפנה ובוטנה ומרעין בישין יעדי מיננה ומנכון מעל עמו ישראל, ואמרו אמן. אמן. יהא של עמה רבה מן שמיה, חיים ושרה ושועה ונחמה ושזרה ורפואה וכולה וסליחה וכפרה ורבע והסלה לנו כל עמו ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומה וברחמה ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל עמו ישראל, ואמרו אמן. אמן. All of please come here to say the ברכה דיין האמת. בבקשה We ask everyone, please, pay attention. Bravo, say, Baruch, Baruch, Adar, Adonai, Elohim, 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 Dayan, Dayan, Amen. 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 Please pay attention. I'm going to include everyone. Please pay attention what I say, especially the family, who everyone touch the, the Aaron. Moshe, Ben Shimon, and Margarit, the Kohen. בשם החברה קדישה, בשם החברים שהתעסקו בך, בשם משפחתך וידידיך וידידייך, וידיד... אנחנו מבקשים ממך מחילה. מחילה. אם חס ושלום פגמנו איזה דבר בטהרה, בנסיעת המיטה או בתיקון הקבר, סלח נא לנו, כי שגגה היא. כל מה שעשינו היה לכבודך על פי מנהג המקום. אנחנו פוטרים אותך מהיות חבר בכל חברה או אגודה שהיא. לך בשלום ותנוח על משכבך בשלום Amen. ותעמוד לגורלך לקץ הימים. היה נא מליץ טוב בעד, מש... בעד משפחתך וידידיך. וחיים ושלום יהיה לנו ולכל ישראל עד העולם. אמן.
Yeah, put from that corner. So right, the yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Vadim. Vadim. Yes, I